Hello and welcome to the fourth match of the Dominion League against Jean-Michel here. Hopefully I said that correctly, apologies if I didn't. Looking at the board, there were a couple ways that came to my mind as to how to play it. The first one is to go after a bunch of heralds and put markets and mystics in your deck. You'd get a little bit of draw to the heralds and definitely enough plus actions to do whatever you like. The second thing that came to my mind was the double tactician plan, again with markets and mystics, but this time you can include courtiers because tactician is the only card on the board with two types on it. So I decided to go after the double tactician deck and that means that I am going to open masquerade and silver here. Wall is on the board so I would like to trash down, not just because of the wall though, but also because the deck works a lot better if you get rid of your starting card. So Masquerade and Silver, maybe angling for an early mint, maybe, was the thought in my mind as well. But I don't see five coppers here, so I'm not going to buy the mint right away. I do see six though, and I'm going to pick up a Tactician straight away here. So what the Tactician allows me to do is perhaps go after that mint, which would let me trash very, very quickly. Potentially all seven coppers out from my deck. So, Tactician first for me here, again it's also in line with my double Tactician plan, but I believe the quick trashing from the Mint should push you in the direction of Tactician anyway on this board. So actually our first two turns were identical and I believe our next two turns here are also identical. My opponent gets up to Tactician here and we both pick up a second Silver on this uh, turn 4. So the second Silver is going to be quite useful. It all gets trashed to mint anyway and I can make use of the extra money on the turn that I'm buying mint for example. So choosing to play the Tactician in favor of the Masquerade there of course hoping to see the Masquerade on this shuffle but I don't but oh well. Now 10 here I did think a bit about what to buy here. I could trash all my coppers here with the mint but that doesn't seem particularly smart because I do not have money in my deck if I do that. So I decided to not trash with Mint this turn and instead try to go after some money. So Mystic and a Market. Arguably that could have been a couple of Mystics, but what I'm thinking right now is that I want to have at least five coin in my deck that I could put on the table. So that would be five Markets, for example, two Mystics and a Market. Uh, Mystic and Courtier with Tactician works as well. And then I could go after the double Tactician thing. As long as I can draw the Tactician, play all these things, and then play another Tactician and buy something, I'm quite content with that, and I believe I can build out of that. So that is what I'm thinking about here. My opponent has five coppers and goes for a mint. I think that's a reasonable play there. And here I am going to top deck a market with the Traveling Fair. The reason for the market this time is because I want to see my Tactician as soon as possible, and if I put a Mystic on top of the deck, I have to guess and play games with whether or not the Tactician is at the top of the deck. Rather not do that, rather have the market there, just so that I have a better chance of seeing my Tactician as soon as possible. So Mystic here, hopefully I guess right, just for a bit of cycling, although it doesn't, it's not really consequential because I am going to discard the whole hand here. Now three means I can buy something and I do pick up a second Masquerade here. It is quite nice to have the two Masquerades right now because the Tactician is going to give me a couple actions to play those things. So all the while while playing this board you have to keep in mind Traveling Fair. If Can you spare the extra $2 or should you spend the two extra $2 to top deck things, right? So here I am actually going to be able to see my entire deck right now. I do a little bit of nonsense here with the Masquerade. I should have passed this estate back to my opponent instead I trash it and have to take back an estate. So it does mean I have a little bit less money for this turn. Uh, I don't think it was too consequential, but again, optimal plays, right? We're trying to make optimal plays out here. So full deck, again, I could go for the mint here, but I kind of confused myself on this turn. I did pick up the second tactician. So if you're picking up the second tactician, you should also pick up the mint straight away. But I looked at my deck and I saw I only had four coin cards anyway, two markets and a mystic. I wanted one more coin, right? And I don't have the money to do that. So I kind of got myself in a tangle here a little bit. Like I said, if you're buying the second tactician, the mint should follow on that turn itself. So instead, I should have picked up three five costs here and not gone ahead 
and picked up the second tactician just yet. So as it is, I am going to top deck a courtier and a tactician. At least I could get some value from the courtier for sure there. And buy another silver. Like I mentioned before, or if I didn't mention before, the silvers aren't particularly harm harmful. I can draw through all of my deck and get the buying power out of the silver while trashing it away to the mint. So not at all a problem for me picking up silver there. So here my opponent comes up with 13 and 2 buys and he picks up 2 golds which I found strange. I thought he was going after the double tactician thing like I um, had in my mind. But instead he goes for a couple golds here. So I was expecting something like market and mystic because he only had the 2 buys. Definitely a market at least. But instead we see the 2 golds for my opponent and he plays his tactician now. So here I am able to see nearly all of my deck, if not all of my deck here, and finally I am now able to pick up the Mint. Now again I get myself into a tangle here, this, this Tactician, the second Tactician does nothing for me, does nothing for me on this turn because I am not going to play it, I need to trash all of these cards, not need to, but I would like to trash all of these cards to the Mint. So if it was a market even, it would have been a lot better for me in this situation. Like I said, I got myself in a bit of a tangle. This is what you want to be doing, right? Buying the mint now, then the second tactician. So you can for sure play that second tactician as soon as you get it and not have it sitting around in your hand. So I am going to top deck a few cards here. And one of the cards that I do top deck is going to be a copper. Now this is something that I saw at the beginning of the game and I was worried about. I was worried that Masquerade would force me to give my opponent something good and I realized that there was a way to defend that by top decking coppers with traveling fair. Could definitely definitely defend against that so was not worried at all. I did pick up another market here. Again perhaps that should have been a mistake. I was just a little bit concerned as to whether or not I could draw the entire deck. Which is why I went for the market instead of the mystic there. The Mystic really is preferable because it's just a bit more money, although the extra plus bio 2 from the market is definitely useful. So here my opponent goes ahead and mints a gold and picks up two provinces. So it seems like he wants to play this way, right? He wants to just rush the provinces as quickly as possible with the Tactician in his deck. He's playing a single Tactician type deck. He can get to two provinces every time he plays that Tactician. So I have to be a bit concerned here. He's going very, very quickly, pushing me or pushing the game towards its end. And I have to be able to respond to that. So here he plays his tactician. I expected him not to be able to buy a province on that turn, which is why I paused on my previous turn and picked up a grave robber for the extra gain. Need to get that extra gain in. Need to start doing more things with this deck, especially seeing as how I have it under control now. At this point, I did consider building a little bit more, for example, turning one of my masquerades into a mystic and drawing it up and playing the mystic. But I reasoned that I did not have the time to do so because of the way my opponent is playing. He played his tactician last turn. I can expect two more provinces from him next turn. And if I do not get any provinces this turn, it will be very, very difficult for me. I'll be facing a fall of deficit on the provinces. So I decide here to follow him on the provinces. So I'm going to use the Grave Robber to turn a Mint in to a province and I'm going to buy one with all my coin on the table here. Again, I pick up a Traveling Fair at this point, top decking a Copper just to shield against the Masquerade. A nice thing with the double province here is that it makes it a bit uncomfortable for my opponent to take double province because I can reliably take two provinces out of the pile here. So what I expected him to do on this turn is something like single province and duchy there, and then we start to play a bit more games. Perhaps I could start to build up a little bit more in my deck with mystics and markets, for example, maybe get another grave robber in another city, and we would perhaps duchy dance for some time there. But instead, my opponent actually goes after two provinces, and that really just gives me a very easy win on my turn. I just need to be able to see um, all the cards in my deck and I can win. So what I end up doing is turning my Tactician 
in top province and buying the last province for the win. Uh, there was some small concern here whether or not wall would cause some problems for me. Because if I buy the provinces when my deck is too fat, they'll only be worth 5 points. But 2 fives are 10 and 10 and 11 is 21, which is one more than my opponent. So didn't have to worry at all about that. And I'm going to close out game 1 here. This grave robber was so very useful. I had to buy it on that turn when I had 6 coin there. If I didn't, I don't think I would have been able to double province and challenge my opponent on the provinces in this way. And I felt like he would have won if I didn't pick up that grave robber. That single grave robber really, really saved me in this game. Alright, so that is game 1 for you. Thank you for watching and I will see you.